Don Stanley here from 3 Rhino Media with your 3 Rhino Meet quick tip for this month on Be A Leader. And today what we're gonna be talking about is how to prepare for success. So the last couple of videos we've talked about the idea of listening, using social media and digital marketing, how to connect with people, uh, how to start creating a basic content strategy. But today we're gonna talk about that next hump. And one of the qu quotes that I wanna use for today to think about is ideas are worthless, execution is priceless. This comes from Eric Thomas. He is the uh, known as the thank God it's Monday guy on YouTube, phenomenal information. But one of the things I love about this statement is a lot of people will have the ideas of starting a content plan or content strategy. They'll have the idea about becoming a thought leader or even the intention of it. But intentions and ideas are worthless. Execution is priceless. So I want you to keep using what you're learning on this entire blog, including my stuff, but everybody else's stuff, to help you move forward. So let's look at a, a couple of things today. So where I'm gonna be pulling these tips for, I wanna share some of my leaders, some of the people that I learned from. There's people like Marcus Sheridan, Chris Brogan, Mark Schaefer, Joe Polizzi, Mari Smith, and Cap, uh, Mark Devine. All of these people are people that I'm pulling the lesson from today from. They're people who have become thought leaders in the last five to 10 years. They've really established footholds. And when I've learned from them, a number of these I know personally, some I've learned from, from just reading a lot of their stuff, listening to all their podcast interviews, watching all of their stuff, is they have all one thing in common, why their organizations that they work with, as well as their own businesses, whether they're a big Fortune 100 company or a small consultancy, why they have all succeeded with digital marketing. And one of the things that they all preach is this, is don't rely on the concept of ostrich marketing. Don't be this guy. A lot of times what we do in a lot of things in life is we like to bury our hands and heads in the sand. We like to think that everything is gonna be rainbows and unicorns, and I'm very much a rainbow and unicorn guy. I wanna look at the positive side of things, but you also need to be realistic and understand that no matter what you're doing, there's going to be obstacles and challenges. If you understand what those obstacles and challenges are ahead of time, you can prepare for them and you can overcome them. The biggest obstacle when it comes to content and digital marketing and establishing yourself as a leader intern internally within your organization and developing a culture of teaching and helping with inbound as well, and digital marketing as well as establishing yourself in the industry, the number one problem I see is this commitment. So a lot of people, again, it's will get real excited and enthusiastic. And it's a lot like this. It's a lot like the New Year's syndrome. So we all get excited. We all set New Year's goals or a lot of us set New Year's goals. But how many of us actually keep them? Not many. And the idea is it's easy to set a goal. It's not easy to commit to one. I should say it's easy, but it's hard to actually do the work. So let me share with you uh, an exercise or a sample of content that I share with all of my clients that I personally consult as well as in all of the classes that I teach at the University of Wisconsin. And it's this, you have two options. The two options are I will give you a penny a day that will double every day for 31 days or I'll give you a million dollars right now. Now most people will say if I gave you the choice they're going to guess and say I want the penny a day. They want the penny a day not because of logic and they can do the math really quick in their head, they have to, they think there's a trick, so they'll say that. But the reality is behavior wise, virtually all of us say we want this. So after one day, if you choose a penny a day, you're gonna have one penny in this side, or you can have a million dollars. Most of us want this million dollar easy button, again, even though we might say this. Well now let's look what happens. After that penny doubling a day every day for 11 days, you would have on this side $10.24. Yeehaw, really exciting, right? Here you have a million dollars. Doesn't look like a fair, fair trade. It looks like if you went with this, you've made a bad decision. You go to day 15, you're up to a whole $163. Again, still looking like you've made a bad choice compared to this. You go to day 21. After 21 consistent days, you only have $21,000 compared to 1 million. But if you keep persisting, look at where you're at after 31 days, $10,737,418.24 versus a million. Now people get the idea of why they would pick this. But the reality is most people will say they want this, 
but behavior wise, this is what they want. Because what happens in these days, these, this is the time when people stop their New Year's goals, stop their fitness goals, but this is also where they stop their content and digital marketing uh, movements. They'll say, oh, this stuff just doesn't work, or it's not getting as fast a results as I want, or, or excuse after excuse after excuse, whatever you want to come up with. The people that I showed you at the beginning of this presentation, the people that I've studied, the people throughout, leader, uh, throughout history who are great leaders are people who have followed this methodology. They have followed the crock pot rather than the microwave. Unlike what Staples says, there isn't an easy button. This is a time that my friends in the military like to call the embrace the suck time. This is the time that you know you're not going to be getting big results. Sometimes you might, but most of the time you won't. This is the time where you need to keep going in here. And it's important that you commit to a set amount of time to your digital marketing strategies to see the big results. You will not get this. Going viral and getting the million dollars is a flash in the pan. It's a one hit wonder. This is what you want to do. The reason most people don't get to this level, they're not the Mark Schaefer's, they're not the Marcus Sheridan's, they're not the Mark Devine's and Joe Pulitzi's, is because when it gets to this point, they stop. So I'm gonna give you four quick action steps to take to help you break through this barrier so when you're in this time, you will be able to keep pushing forward. If you want, you can always tweet at me to reach out to me. I'll help give you a motivation because I know I need this as well. So the four quick action steps. Number one is I want you to sign a contract with yourself, just like you'd sign a contract with a client and commit to 90 days of doing digital and content marketing. Using the techniques that we've talked about to this point and say for the next 90 days, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, or if you don't want to wait for the start of the of a new quarter, just pick the day you're in and say for 90 days, I, Don Stanley, commit to doing this work daily where I will learn and spend 10 to 20 minutes a day working on digital and content marketing and using it to grow my business. Next thing is you want to monitor your activity daily. You can do this just on weekdays. It doesn't need to be on weekends. But when we monitor and measure something, we demonstrate caring and we'll put effort into it. One of my favorite examples is Fitbit. If you think of what a Fitbit is, it's nothing more than this silly little tool. No offense if you have one. But really, all it does is it measures super basic stuff but it makes you accountable and it helps you to count on a daily basis what you're doing. That has motivated so many people I know to become more active. So whatever it is you need to do, I personally put a little reminder on my calendar on my phone so my phone alerts me every day at a particular time, hey, did you do this? Hey, did you do this? Hey, did you do this? And it repeats it for 90 days. So I just set it for 90 days, it goes off at a certain time and it's a reminder for me to pay attention. And that leads to the third, is you want to have some type of uh, accountability mechanism in place. What I recommend you do is you do something like what happens with Fitbit, where you can compete against yourself, but also you can share what you're doing with other people. So in some cases, people will hire folks like me to be a consultant who holds them accountable to doing what they say they're going to do. Other times you can use a friend, you can use a colleague, or you can use your staff internally. The key is when you sign that contract, let somebody else know about it. Let them know that you want them to care enough to push you to follow through because you're going to get to those days, those embrace the suck days, where you're not going to want to do that. And those are the people who you're going to have to trust who won't say, hey, it's okay, don't worry about it. They're going to say, hey, you committed to doing this. I believe in you. What do I need to do to help to make sure you follow through because you said you were going to do it and I want you to be true to your word. And then last but not least, what I want you to do is have a process in place. In my next video, I'm going to talk about this, but there are some processes you can set up to make this easier. For example, I love to do CrossFit um, workouts, do Spartan races. So one of the things I did to, had to do was I I had to take a class where I have an instructor and he always has the workouts prepared and planned for me. All I have to do is go in and execute those. I don't have to think about what to do, I just go in and execute. So one of the things we'll talk about is how to put a content process in place 
for in a 90 day period of time. So instead of you having to think on a regular basis, well, what should I write about? Or what should our team tweet about? Or what content should we share? You will have a calendar where you can just kind of plug and chug as some people like to say. It's not gonna be completely autopilot, but it's gonna be autopilot enough that it'll help you follow through. So remember, you wanna make a big commitment to this. Start out by signing a contract to yourself. Use something to monitor daily during the weekdays and then you wanna make sure that you hold yourself accountable to somebody, someone, something that is gonna make sure you follow through. Again, I hire a coach to help me with things because I know if I just say it, I'm not gonna do it. If I put some financial commitment and sign a paper, I'm gonna follow through because I'll have more in, invested in the process. And then last but not least, we'll talk about this more, but have a process in place. If you have any questions for me, reach out to me, Don at 3rhinomedia.com. Look me up on Twitter. 3rhinomedia.com and here's to your success. I'm cheering you on.